Hey, what's going on, Taurus? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayo for you guys getting ready to bring you your energy update for today or whenever you tune in, okay? Now, don't forget, flip these roles, take only what you need and leave the rest. Please use the spirit of this sermon as you're viewing this video. My goal is to help you to evolve, okay? So even though some of the messages may be triggering, um, I do encourage you to face your mirror if you are triggered, but I'm here to help bring you closer and closer to your divine life purpose, right? Um, your soul's evolution, okay? So this is what this is about, y'all. It's about us being able to get into alignment with the divine's will for our life. No matter what our situations look like in our 3D world, we have to stay connected to source God our higher selves, the universe, our angelic guides, however it resonates for you, okay? Everything is going to be all good, y'all. I feel it deep down in my soul. I have a Taurus moon and rising, okay? My sun is in Virgo, but however, yes, I am earth all around, y'all. Let me set my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides. Thank you for protecting us as we go through the portals. Thank you for my true guides showing up and helping me to deliver a message for Taurus's highest good. And so it is. Don't forget, you guys, flip the roles. If this isn't your energy, this is someone connected to you. Okay. We're all on different timelines, so I could be speaking of past, present, or future energies for you. I'm not sure if you're masculine or feminine as well. I'm just going to speak this story as I'm seeing it. The healer of ages comes out. So I do definitely sense that you are healing, right? You're healing on a deeper level. I mean, I'm talking about, we're talking about the root issues, childhood, past lives, okay? You're doing a lot of healing work and you're getting a lot of support from um, the spirit world, okay? ascending masters or or god directly right your angelic team yep whatever you have been going through honey the storm is over let me show you storm wanted in the reverse community card is up right whether this is a third party situation or involving you know your community your network your friends whatever that may be the worst is behind you so let me pull tarot on this Tell me about the healer of ages. Look at that. Nine of cups. You done healed your way into your wish fulfillment, honey. <laughs> Let me find out. Storm warning in reverse, my spirit team. What's that about? Nine of pentacles. I've seen it didn't come out. So guess what? You may have been having issues on the home front, issues with your finances, whatever it may have been, issues just period in your life, right? Codependency issues, whatever it is, you are now at this point in your life where you are becoming independent and you are becoming so confident, okay? You're overcoming your challenges and all, all right? So come on now, show me what I need to see with this storm morning. There, came out still, hangman, okay? So basically... The storm came because you had to take a moment to pause, all right, because you needed a new perspective. And so because you wasn't shifting your perspective or you may have been resistant to it, the divine had to come in us in this storm so that you can change your mentality so you can start seeing things in a new way so that you will start thinking about your situation in a different way because you were getting blocked and you were so stuck. Whether it was because of people or was it if it was because of your circumstances, it just was too much, too much anxiety, too much depression. The nine of swords is in the reverse at this point, right? And you are allowing certain fears and things to impede you, okay? Keep you from moving forward, keep you from operating in your fullest potential. So yes, the divine orchestrated a storm for you, but it wasn't meant to hurt you, okay? But to help you. I know you may understand now, right? Tell me about the community card. Yep, the devil. Whew, a lot of codependent energy. Wow. Tell me about the devil. A lot of codependent energy, addictions, obsessions. You were dissatisfied. You wasn't putting in the energy. Eight of Pentacles, you wasn't putting in the work to work on these things. And some of the people in your connection... Some of the people in your network, in your tribe, they just wasn't a good fit, honey. They were karmics. Look at that. The lovers in the reverse. Yes. You got some people here that are, are definitely, it was too much disharmony between you and these people. Too much conflict and all. Okay. 
four of wands in the reverse next to the two of wands in the reverse too much upheaval like you are literally trying to build a firm foundation for yourself one that's harmonious that has peace right even if this is somebody you were married to before in the past it's like you had to go through that storm you had to go through a divorce whatever relationship if it's a relationship whatever that was a karmic connection there with someone a friendship however it is someone within your community someone within your network a lot of artificial constraints between you and that person okay a lot of restrictions that two of wands comes in the reverse right a lot of deception underhanded shit. let me tell you it was just unorthodox is what i'm hearing and it was impeding your path too many obstacles wow within that connection too many codependencies tell me about the more about this devil yep still it's about changing your perspective. That's it. To get you out of this, the, the wounded warrior energy. Some of you were dealing with depression, anxiety, being weighed down by dark thoughts, worrying excessively about your situation surrounding your community. So tell me more about what's in this community. So that you can begin to connect with your soul tribe is what I'm hearing. That you can connect with people who actually truly love you and support you. So that you can get to a point of celebrating. Look at that. Ace of Cups. So that you can start something new. So that positive changes can come in. Something that will offer you joy, faithfulness, fertility, love. And that's what the storm, that's what the storm came to do. To clear the path. Look at that. Three of Cups. To get the people out of your life that should not be there. The ones that were impeding you to get to the harmonious relationship or relationships. To get to your lover, to get to your friend, right? Your business partners, whoever this is that represents the community, okay? I'm even seeing, even to get to a point of having a strong bond with someone to get to the point of marriage, all right? So intimate relationships things like that like whatever this is that's about choices the lovers is also about making healthy choices for yourself um the lovers represents gemini too so you can can, can be connected to an air sign okay gemini energy came through i forgot who else i seen of course taurus that was you i think the community the uh three of cups represents water signs yeah the cups are water signs but however, yep, it had to be all dismantled so that you can get this cup. It's overflowing with everything. Tell me about the lovers. Yep, mm. two of wands upright, the page of swords, and the page of pentacles came out in the reverse. And again, this was in the reverse position at first, right? But basically, you're making progress now because you are now stepping out your comfort zone and you're beginning to make choices again because the lovers is also about making choices, healthy choices, right? And now you're making choices that are good for you, all right? Not overanalyzing them or nothing. You just kind of like setting your goals. You're making plans and you're moving forward. Even in a relationship for some of you, you're going to be moving to the next level. Okay, page of swords comes out, right? So you got so much that you want to communicate. All these ideas, all this stuff that's coming through that, and I, I feel like somebody even may have communicated something here to you too that could have kind of set you back too in one of your relationships. So something could have happened as well. Um, and that situation may have failed, right? Okay, and then I got the page of pentacles in reverse beside that. So again, it's like, you have all of these ideas or you had all of these ideas and you haven't been able to really manifest them because you were worried, okay? You may be worried about succeeding, maybe worried about, you know, if how these friendships or, you know, connections you had would actually manifest and, and, and bring you something that is, how can I say it, abundant, right? Because I, I, I definitely feel, Taurus, because you're highly intuitive that you already kind of could feel and sense that the dynamics of your connections were changing, right? The, that the people that you were connected to, you were no longer resonating with these people any longer. 
too much disharmony, too much of an imbalance, right? Y'all wasn't a vibrational match. So yeah, now it's like, it's, it's putting you on track so that you can now actually literally manifest your goals. And I, and I really feel like you may be have, you may have someone that's going to be in your energy coming or they are already there. Okay. Who is, um, they're going to be dedicated in a deal in very diligent, a very dedicated and diligent connection is what I'm seeing. This person is definitely going to be, how can I say it? A vibrational match to you. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm feeling heavily on union is in the air. All right. So you may be in a relationship even soon. I, I don't know. <laughs> the shit just comes to me. I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> you like, huh? What? Yeah. And that may not be for all of y'all, right? May not be for all of us. But I'm feeling led to pull the Romance Angels card. So show me what I need to see here. Yep, romantic feeling. So someone has sparked your feelings and these feelings are worth exploring they're real and worth exploring is what your guides are telling you you got you may be separated from this person now so yeah you're separated from this person or time apart is on the horizon for you and this person or you're gonna go through some type of separation but i feel like this is now energy okay you may not be with this person now you could be friends with this person but not in a relationship or things may not be how it used to be. Yep, new love. I'm I'm hearing like a, it's going to be, it's a new person that may have stirred your feelings. Or it's new love. Okay? And when I hear that, it's like a connection that you may have had with someone that you're separated from. That passion or something like that, that's going to be reignited. And I'm also hearing that. You're separated from someone and new love is coming in for you. Mm -hmm. It says, this introduces someone new into your love life. Perhaps you have recently met this person and your interest was Pete. This card validates that your connection was mutual and real. It's safe for you to explore it and romance angels will guide you and your actions accordingly. Of course, if you're already in a committed relationship or have someone in mind, okay, um, you may want to consult with a, with your angels or perhaps a counsel or other trusted person to get some type of insights here. But however, it's like whatever is there, it's going to be, it can be reignited, okay? Um, but however, let me see something here. Okay, here we go. It says, while running into the arms of a suitor may sound passionate, the reality of guilt over the affair will soon weigh heavily upon you. It's better to confront your issues within your present relationship that left your emotional door open for someone else. Okay, so this is if you're in a relationship. I was like, well, wait, what's going on? If you're in a relationship already or committed relationship and a new lover has come in, they're saying to get some support and help because you want to still get to the bottom of why you may have ran to the arms of someone else okay so that you can heal that aspect of yourself and not repeat it all right so that makes sense i was just like what is going on <laughs> and of course lastly this could also mean that you're going to soon meet a new person okay so keep the faith love is in the cards for you taurus however it goes you deserve love and you are lovable and the angels are guiding you Okay, and they're asking you to be aware as you never know when this is going to arrive. All right, so that was good. <laughs> I feel like I want to pull some more from there. Let's see. Call in your soulmate. So, your prayers and your affirmations and your visualizations will help bring you and this person together. So the person that is actually coming your way or who is already in your energy is a soulmate. Yep. So then, like I said, it's going to be a reconciliation for some and new love for some. 
pay attention to any red flags because there could be someone wearing a false mask within the connection and you got to release your ex okay so it's time to release your ex clear your energy of that person let me pull on a deception card so that you can be open to receive this new love when it comes in or let's see and for some i just heard it's the same thing though but it just came to my mind this way so i'm gonna say it you could have been you know friends with someone and you were just friends and you guys never were able to get it off the ground to be a relationship so that would actually be new love too tell me about the deception the hermit comes out in the reverse so what they're saying is that they want you to pay attention, right? Because pay attention to the red flags was a card beside that. So they want you to take time and just, you know, make sure you're getting, you're staying grounded so that you can see the signs. So if there's red flags, if there's some type of deception, you're going to be aware of it. You won't miss it. So they want you to create more space for meditation and reflection here with the temperance card coming out again and do things in moderation, right? Don't be extreme. You want to make sure that there's balance, okay, in the connection. Don't be overgiving, overextending, or any of that. Two of Wands is in the reverse position as well. So they just want you to be prepared, okay? So if anything unexpected happens or if there's some type of obstacles, they want you to still be able to make these decisions for yourself to keep moving forward. And as you're healing and you're releasing the energy from your ex, you won't be holding on so tightly to people when it's time to let them go, if that is the case. Um, I'm definitely feeling here that, you know, your spirit team is saying, look, you got long-term goals. So even if this new person comes in and they kind of not fit in that scenario, you'll still be confident enough to know that if it's time for you to take a leap of faith and go on to something else or to do something else, you're going to feel confident to know that God still has your back and is still supporting you, that the universe will still catch you regardless of how many times you got to take another step into a new beginning for yourself. OK, so make sure you are um, definitely staying in alignment here. OK, I got the magician in the reverse position. So tell me about the magician. Don't feel powerless because you got all the tools that you need to manifest the life that you desire and you deserve to have that. Okay, is what they're saying. You deserve to have that. It feels like, um, it definitely feels like I just heard second chances for someone. All right, so five of swords comes out in the um, will of the will card came out. I don't know why I got stumped on that. In my head was like the will of fortune, but whatever the tension may be, okay, whatever you know, disputes may be, or if it's conflict or something like that, don't worry. Things are going to eventually get better, okay? I'm seeing relationship changes, a lot of relationship changes. You may have to make adjustments, but it's unexpected changes. But however, yeah, I just heard your commitment could be being tested too as well. Yep, the two of cups comes out next to the high priestess reverse so when it comes to your intuition your commitment may be being tested too as well um just to see if you are paying attention to your intuition if you're picking up on the red flags is what i just heard wow isn't that weird it's like why don't test me <laughs> i know i understand i learned the lessons right yeah but yeah make sure you are staying grounded and you are listening to your intuition so if your intuition is like going off something ain't right you need to speak up <laughs> okay don't hold it to yourself don't ask nobody else what they think you are right you have all the answers you need within trust yourself okay all right all right sorry so i'm getting ready to go oh you know what no i want to pull an archangel michael card for you i've been pulling them for everybody else so thank you <laughs> look the romance angels are helping you <laughs> oh come through Okay, so let me read that. This card validates that your prayers concerning your love life have been heard and answered. There's a special group of ethereal beings called the Romance Angels who specifically work with matters of the heart. These angels are giving you intuitive guidance to prepare you for great love. 
to manifest a soulmate romance, you must express the qualities you desire in a partner. So the romance angels may ask you to make helpful lifestyle changes, focus on self-improvement, learn additional interesting hobbies, or make new friends. The more that you listen to your intuition, the faster your prayers for a loving relationship will be answered. Okay, so the person you are asking about is your soulmate. You will experience happy changes in your present relationship for some of you, or you will get a new love, right? You are learning to love yourself. You will soon meet someone special by following your guidance. Listen to your intuition concerning exercise, diet, and other aspects of self-improvement. You'll hear this. All of this is coming through now, right? Where you're going to be heavily tested on your intuition, okay? So make sure you are listening. All right, y'all? All right, so I'm getting ready to go. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you hit the like button, the thanks button, if you're feeling generous, and the subscribe button. All right, y'all. Peace.